So we are on the E80. This is the road between Oslo and Stockholm. And the reason we're on it is we want to cross the international border between Norway and Sweden. Norway outside the EU, Sweden inside the EU. We want to find out if the systems that they have in place here are something that could be used in Ireland between North and South post Brexit. Here we are at the international border between Norway and Sweden. This is Norway where I'm standing. Just up the road, as you can see from the lovely European Union flag, is Sweden. And what you'll also see over my other shoulder is a barrier down across the road. This border is not invisible despite what some people think and there's a queue of cars and trucks over there in the distance as well. We're going to head that direction because we're going to talk to the customs officers here to find out exactly how all this works. There's 21 different uh, roads monitored by live camera and so when someone drives through I see all these pictures changing, their license plate flashes up. What can you tell then from that license plate? I can see that uh, we have the, this system is also connected up to the road authorities' systems. So if you haven't paid the road tax, that's about uh, 400 pounds a year. Mm. Uh, so if people haven't paid it, it will come up as an alert with a, a special color on the license plate. And then if we have people there, we can stop them and collect the road tax there, or we can take the license plate. So this is it, we are crossing the international border because we're in a private car and we have nothing to declare. It's easy, it's seamless essentially. Uh, not so for everyone going the other direction, the barriers are down, everyone is getting stopped, people are getting checked, number plates are getting read, it's not invisible. But for us, it's been smooth. When we, you've been sitting here for maybe, like you've been working here for maybe years, you kind of remember the license plates also. And okay. you can see that, okay, I recognize this one because this is a local one. But of course, we can also see if something is like, this is not right, so we better stop this one. So, uh, I, and even a um, slightly more invisible border. Yes. And I think that's the future. The future. And uh, we have the payload here in Norge. Because we have a lot of traffic, but not so much traffic at, as we have Svindesund. So we're back on the Norwegian side of the border, having briefly visited Sweden. It was a fascinating experience. It's not an invisible border. There is infrastructure, huge infrastructure at the main border crossing points. It's also not completely smooth for people going over and back. We drove perfectly well into Sweden and the way back, the barriers were down across the road. We had to go through a customs booth. That's the reality for people living along an international border between Norway and Sweden, a technologically advanced international border. But realistically, Ireland's going to need something even more advanced if people want to continue living the way they have been along the border counties.